Have you got any thoughts on sort of the county-wide topics then? So, for example, <coughs> say the, um, the European City of Culture and yeah. sort of things like that. I mean, yeah. If well, you... people have asked me, did I vote for that? Well, I didn't get a chance because it was an, it was a, a cabinet decision. Yeah. But I did speak against it in full council on in February. Yes. And that's podcast, it's right. webcast. So I oh yeah, it's yeah, still yeah. Up online, but it wasn't at the time. Mm. Um, I spoke against it in full council. I'm against it in principle. In principle, economic development is a good thing to support. Yes. But a time of financial stringency when I can't get works done in the town. Yeah. I know it's a different budget, but it's the same it's the it's same the, bucket it's coming out that's of. Of course, like. yeah. Um, no, I couldn't support that, so I didn't support it. And you know, another time if it comes up, it'll depend on where, when, what the circumstances are, whether I would support it. Yeah. So no, I didn't. Um, and I think yes, it's a good idea in the right circumstances. These were not the right circumstances. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Do you think? Do you think they might have? Um pushed for it more because of the, the Brexit side of things where they thought, oh, if we're not, you know, two, three years down the line when we're not in Europe, then maybe they won't get the chance to sort of, to do it. It's I'm cool. no expert, but I understand that uh, that European city of culture has gone to, to cities outside the EU already. Oh, right, okay. If that is the case, then I don't yeah. think that's relevant. Yeah, yeah. No, no, oh, I didn't know that. That's um, Well, if it's right, yeah, I mean, yeah. I've, just, I've heard that. Yeah, that's... Well, that's fair. Like I say, it's not my expertise, sorry. I think another hot topic, well, for me anyway, um, is the sports stadium that is being proposed and sort of so on for, for Cornwall. Um, do you know much about it? Are you interested in about it? Do you support it's, um, it? You... Not particularly. Yeah? It's, it's not my bag, but having no, said that... Enough. They did ask me, would I support it? And I said, yeah, provided it didn't require money from Cornwall Council. Right. Uh, I've no problem with the concept, but it's not something we can afford to put money into at this time. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, fair enough. Um, what about the sort of A30 duelling then um, between Carlin Cross and Chiverton Cross? That's, um Seems to be. It's way behind, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is. It's well, it's <clears> years <throat> behind, isn't it? It should it should be done done already, but. <sighs> I hate to be political, but uh, <laughs> if you go back to 1979, yes, uh, the Conservative candidate for North Cornwall mm. said that by the 19, 1984, the main A30 would be dual right the way through. Right. Right? A little bit late on that. Yeah, we? yeah, a few. 20 odd years? 25 years, 25, or, yeah. whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a long way behind. Yes, flipping hell. But it's... Yeah, I think it's, yeah, definitely long overdue. It, and it, it needs to be done. And yeah. I mean, the bit around Temple is being done partially funded by Cornwall Council because the government step up, didn't step up with the money. Mm. Some is government money, but some is being funded by Cornwall. Yeah, do you think... Um, I think that's not right, but it's got to happen. Yeah, do you think that if it comes to the point where Cornwall might need to cough up some money for the, the jeweling of that area, do you think that we'd uh, you'd support that? And I, I think so, yeah, yeah. because it, I, to my mind it's essential in yeah. today's world. I think a lot of people agree with you on that.